Heading into the Sartell Alexandria section finals game, Sartell was rolling pretty good. They lost their first three games but ended up winning six in a row. Uh, they just killed a pretty good Brainerd team and we were coming in, uh, lost our last regular season game, still pretty pumped, but we beat Moorhead the game before on a double OT win and then we were trying to get our first state state tournament berth since 2002. So in the, so in the first quarter, uh, first drive of the game, Sartell kind of starts driving it down the field. But the defense gets a nice hold there at the end of that drive and forces a field goal, which Sartell converted. And throughout the first quarter, our offense really struggled, didn't even get a first down. And the defense made some really nice stops after that first one as well. So after the first quarter, the score was three to zero Sartell. <laughs> second quarter our offense picked it up a little bit we started rolling uh, I had a touchdown pass right away in the second quarter and then Spencer got one later on and our defense kept doing their thing they gave up one touchdown but held them pretty well throughout and then Zach Hartstead made a field goal to propel us to a 16 to 10 Oh, lead. Coming out of halftime, we were pretty pumped up. We were winning our game, but we just really felt like we weren't doing anything on offense. So right out of the gate, we got the ball and we drove down to about the 30 and kicked a field goal. And right away, the defense came out going and they got a Sartell stop and they punted it. And then the offense drove down and had a nice little toss to Micah right up the middle.
after the kickoff, we had our defense do another stop, great stop and then tried this dandy fake punt, which Will Odlin dropped. And then <laughs> by the end of the third quarter, we were up 33 to 18. And the Sartell, we, only, we held them to one touchdown and we went from 16 to 33. I really feel like we came out swinging. Uh, heading into the fourth quarter, our offense was driving. Uh, we were inside the red zone early in the fourth. Ended up fumbling it really close to the end zone. Sartell recovered it in their end zone touchback. and got a touchback. And then I think on their second offensive play, they ran a little bubble screen to the outside. I ended up hitting the kick good enough to knock the ball out and Brock Ehrman recovered it. And then we scored on the very next play. And then from that point on, kind of Sartell got the ball back and they started kind of rolling a little bit. They didn't get huge yardage on their plays, but they got just enough to keep it going. And, you know, they kept scoring and our offense really didn't do much at the end there. They picked up, I think like, I don't know, one or two first downs in the fourth quarter. And then uh, uh, towards the end of the game, it was, uh, Sartell got the ball with 3.23 left on the clock and they were driving and it was driving and it was fourth and I think nine and they were on the 15 yard line and they tried a little post route and I ended up picking it off and running it back for a pretty good game. And then that pretty much sealed the deal for the victory. This Saturday night we're going to play Elk River. Uh, they are 10 and 0 right now and they run a tight T offense with three running backs and in the backfield they got a lot of smoke and mirrors but really they maybe pass the ball one to eight times a game and they have about six running plays but they run them really really well, run it very effectively. We'll have to play a very sound game defensively to stop them. Elk River's defense is uh, mostly cover four and a little bit of soft man and they seem to have a really solid front their um, specials or their uh, skills players 
are pretty fast and they can make the tackle in the open field. For the offense to beat them, we're just going to have to be crisp and get our blocks and know our assignments and just make the play when the play is coming to us.